Hello YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans today I'll be reviewing this which is a custom built prop replica of the Doctor's lash up device. The what you may be asking? Well for those of you who don't know it's that phone thingy he uses in both A Christmas Carol and Day of the Moon. And here it is out of its box as it didn't come in one. Anyway let's take a look at this little beauty. So here we have the lash up device and it looks great. It's obvious that the prop maker Simon Friend has put a lot of work into recreating it, even going as far as sourcing the original reading light which provides the base for the actual prop. It's been painted in this lovely rich copper which again matches the screen used version. At the top you can see the bulk of various gadgetry which has been added to it, from the sort of mini turbine which acts as the earphone, to all of the multicoloured wiring protruding from these sections below it. And of course it's all held together by this copper wiring which has been wrapped around it to give it a real cobbled together feel as though the doctor realised he needed a communicator of some sort, so just threw it together from whatever he had lying around. More copper wire has been added to this bendable section below it, meaning the device can be curved so the mouthpiece can be brought up to, well, the mouth. Nothing's been majorly changed here except for this cuboid section added to the bottom with, what else, copper wire. Being a reading light, this end piece of course lights up. A sliding switch on the back allows this white LED to illuminate, which in all fairness adds a little life to the prop as it looks like it's switched on or in use. The lash up device also comes with a base, and it's very... basic. Sorry about that. Uh, just being a shade of rectangular blue plastic. But I love the detail of the police box panels on there. The device is cradled at either end by these transparent pieces. This is really set off well by this plaque, which features the Doctor Who logo, insignia, and the Doctor's lash up device written below it, which can be positioned next to the base for a brilliant display piece. Doing a quick size comparison, you can see the device is smaller than the 12th Doctor's flicked open Sonic, but is slightly bigger than the 8th Doctor's Sonic. So overall, what do I think of this replica? Well, it's great. The original prop itself may have been simply based on a book light, but you have to admire the amount of work that's gone into painstakingly recreate all these various bits of gadgetry which have been added to it. It's controlled chaos, and as a result it maintains that thrown together look while remaining faithful to the one seen on screen. And Simon definitely has to be congratulated for the time and effort clearly put into this piece. It's definitely a much lesser known prop, but if you like to collect these rare, harder to find replicas, then this is a must. But in the end, that's all down to personal preference. And so that brings us to the end of this review. I really hope you liked it. If you did and you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe for more videos and keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Nobody there. That's useless. That's I'm walking.